let's look at the free full lifeboat system. All bulk carriers of 500 gross tonnage and upwards built on or after July the 1st, 2006 are required to have a free full lifeboat. Free full lifeboats are placed at the ship's stern. In the event of an emergency, the crew board the lifeboat in its stowed position and then conduct a free fall launch. The launching operation can be performed from inside the lifeboat. The davit unit of a free fall lifeboat consists mainly of a slide track, a davit arm, a pair of suspensions, a hydraulic cylinder and a lashing device. The winch is composed of a wire drum, a hydraulic motor, speed reduction gear and hydraulic brake gear. Prior to launch, make sure that the water surface is free of obstacles. Next, release the lashing line and confirm that the lashing plate has been released. The lashing plate will be released automatically once the lashing line is released. If the lashing plate is not released, release it manually using the attached nylon rope. Next, check that the battery charge cable has been detached. Then remove the release hook safety pin and open the rear hatch. The coxswain should confirm that all necessary launch preparations have been completed. The crew should then board the lifeboat from the rear hatch. Finally, the coxswain boards the lifeboat and closes the hatch tightly from inside. After everyone is on board, confirm that the boat's drain valve has been closed. All crew members should be seated, should fasten their seat belts, and should grasp the handrail on the seat in front of them. Do not forget to use the headrest belt if it is available. The operator should conduct a final check to confirm that all crew members have fastened their seat belts and that they have not put on life jackets. Then the operator may be seated and fasten his or her seat belt. When doing so, please avoid touching the release lever. The operator starts the engine. Removes the release lever securing pin and closes the bypass valve. Pumping the release lever several times releases the main lashing, allowing the lifeboat to achieve free fall launch. Once the launch has been completed, immediately leave the parent ship for a safer area. Never use a painter during a free fall launch. In the event the hydraulic system does not function properly and emergency release is required, 
Confirm that the bypass valve is open. Break the acrylic cover. Insert the emergency release handle and turn the emergency release bolt clockwise until it comes to a stop. The stopper of the main lashing will open and the lifeboat will be launched. When a free fall is not possible due to insufficient water depth or when the ship is in an inappropriate area for a free fall, it is possible to lower and launch the lifeboat using data arms. When launch preparations have been completed and confirmed, switch on the hydraulic power pump. Operate the control lever to lower the traverse and subsequently remove the hook lashing lines. Attach the wire ropes to the suspension. Using the lever, position the davit arms just above the boat lifting position and adjust the fore and aft balance of the lifeboat. The crew members embark the lifeboat from the rear hatch, take their seats and fasten their seat belts. Each member should grasp the handrail on the seat in front of them. The operator then boards the lifeboat and closes the hatch. The operator confirms that all crew members have fastened their seat belts and then removes the pin securing the release lever and closes the bypass valve. Pumping the lever several times releases the release hook and removes the main lashing. After visually confirming that the main lashing has been released, the operator on the main ship shall use the control lever to swing the davit arms to the proper lowering position and then lower the lifeboat. is waterborne and has become well balanced, the operator on board the lifeboat shall indicate to the operator on the parent ship to stop lowering the boat. The operator on board shall remove the wire ropes used to suspend the boat and attach them to the plate provided. The boat engine can now be started. Immediately leave the area of the main ship. Switch on the hydraulic power pack on the parent ship. The operator on deck uses the control lever to swing out the davit arms. Next, lower the suspensions to a height allowing the wire ropes for hanging the boat to be attached. These steps should be carried out under instruction from an operator on board the lifeboat. The operator on board the lifeboat attaches the wire ropes to the suspensions. After signaling to the operator on deck, the operator on board the lifeboat should be seated with seatbelt fastened and should stop the engine. The operator on deck confirms that the engine has been stopped and starts hoisting the boat. The movement of the traverse should be halted prior to coming into contact with the hinge block and the wire rope support. By operating the control lever, stow the davit arm to the boat set position. Station an operator on the platform. Stop the operation before the davit rear span and the boat come into contact. Using the control lever, lower the lifeboat until it is positioned on the roller. Raise and lower the lifeboat several times with the control lever, thus adjusting the stowed position until it is possible to attach the main lashing. Each operation should be implemented slowly 
and in concert with the signals provided by the operator stationed on the platform. Securely attach the main lashing to the release hook. After confirming that the main lashing is secure, the crew may disembark the lifeboat via the rear hatch. The operator on deck lowers the suspensions, detaches the wire ropes for hanging the boat, and attaches them to the plate provided. Using the control lever, move the davit arms to the stowing position. Although the davit arm stops moving when it comes into contact with the arm support, keep an eye on the davit arm during this operation. Attach the hook lashing lines to the suspensions. Set the lashing line. The lashing plate is set automatically once the lashing lines are attached. Turn off the power pack. 